Big announcements at CES, a car that runs on electrolytes and a high-speed car chase with no one driving? This is The Rundown, brought to you by Screens. Welcome to The Rundown, brought to you by Screens, where we bring you the automotive and infotainment stories you should know. Autonomous vehicle development has been a thing for a while now, but what happens when your car is born to be wild? A Tesla, while on autopilot, led police in Germany on a high-speed chase on the Autobahn, while the driver was reportedly asleep. The Tesla kept the same distance from the patrol car for the length of the chase. When police finally caught up with the car, they found that the Tesla driver was reclining in the seat with his eyes closed and his hands off the steering wheel. Police said a 45-year-old man was sleeping behind the wheel of the car, and while I haven't seen a photo of him, I haven't ruled out this man. The police also claim to have found a steering wheel weight in the footwell, which explains how Autopilot was operating when the driver's hands weren't on the steering wheel. You can watch the entire story in the new movie, The Tired and the Furious. Electric vehicles are being adopted at an incredible rate and they are typically fitted with a battery pack that needs charging. London-based company Nano Flow Cell is saying, hold my beard that whole idea, creating a concept car that runs on electrolytes. The Brando's got with cars. It's great. It's got electrolytes. As interesting and possibly scary as having a car that runs on Brando the Thirst Mutilator is, the company's vehicles are powered by an electrolyte fuel called Bi-Ion that uses seawater or wastewater as a base. Hmm. Gross. Regardless of where it comes from, the water gets purified and becomes a fuel thanks to nanostructured Bi-Ion molecules. They're described as charge carriers developed to portably store regenerative energy. The electricity that this liquid generates is what zaps the electric motors into motion. Doc Brown would be proud. And finally, CES was this past weekend, and here are some quick highlights of the big automotive announcements. It's a CES rundown in your rundown. With 45 sensors, a digital display on the front bumper, LiDAR for automated driving, and a Qualcomm chassis, Sony and Honda debut a Fila, their new EV car brand. They hope you'll be a-feeling it. Get it? Cars now take inspiration from chameleons with the new BMW iVision D showing off a color-changing exterior. They will offer 32 hues initially. Whether you need to pay to have more colors and hues remains to be seen. After admitting to having flawed interface interaction systems, Volkswagen announced the ID.7 EV sedan, which finally adds illumination to the touch-sensitive interface controls, while also bringing them permanently to the HMI. In a bid to improve heating efficiency, ZF announced the concept for a heated seatbelt, which, combined with a heated steering wheel, is set to replace conventional cabin heating to increase EV range by up to 15%. Yes, now you can travel longer while feeling colder. Chrysler also showed off its HMI concept for fully automated vehicles called the Synthesis, which in its essence is two screens placed on the central console. And that's your rundown, brought to you by Screens. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and to test drive the latest automotive infotainment systems right at your desk, including in-depth infotainment summaries with a complete replica of a vehicle's architecture. Go to ScreensAuto.com where you can create your own free account today.